Hey, Tim here from Ung Studio, and today I've got another architecture-inspired cardboard light project for you. Today's cardboard light project is inspired by the design of two towers designed by the architecture firm Mad Architects. The towers are the absolute towers and they're located in Ontario, Canada. These towers have an oval floor plan and they rotate as they go up. That simple rotation and that oval form creates this really beautiful shape as it goes up. I wanted to take that same design concept and apply it to my project today. So I'm going to be designing the cardboard light fixture with a very simple oval shape that's 8 inches wide by 4 inches deep. That 4 inch depth is only there so that I can fit my hand within the light fixture to install the light bulb. Before we jump into my design and 3D model of this project, remember to check out my other cardboard light projects where I show you my process of designing and making them just like this one. And also, remember to support this channel by liking this video and subscribing for more like it. Now with that, let's jump into the design and 3D model of this project. Here's a 3D model of the twisting oval light where you can start to see how it resembles the absolute towers designed by Mad Architects. As I rotate around this model, you'll see how the simple rotation of every cardboard piece by about 2 degrees from the base to the top of this light fixture actually starts to create this elegant form. That elegant form from the top view looking down starts to look just like the absolute towers. In total, there will be 80 pieces of cardboard that come together to create this light fixture. So one of my goals is going to be efficiently laying out as many pieces onto one full size sheet of cardboard that goes into my Glowforge laser cutter for cutting. At the base of this light fixture, I'm going to have a mahogany piece of plywood that'll cover the entire base and have a circle cut out of the center where the light bulb will be installed. Now let's go into Adobe Illustrator where I'll show you how all of the sheets are laid out. Here in Adobe Illustrator, you'll see that I was able to fit a total of four pieces onto one full size sheet of cardboard that fits inside of my Glowforge laser cutter. All of the lines here shown in red are going to be laser cut, whereas the ones that are shown in purple are going to be engraved onto the surface of the cardboard piece. The reason why I'm going to be engraving the line shown here in purple is so that they can act as a guide when I'm ready to assemble all of the pieces. The next sheet is just one simple piece and that's the base of the light fixture with the center cut out where the light bulb will be installed. So that's my design and 3D model of the twisting oval light. You can see in the 3D model how simple I kept the overall form of the oval and that's because I wanted to continue building on the ideas from an earlier project that I shared here on my channel where I showed you how I make a shooting star cardboard light. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that the next step of this project, which is laser cutting all of the pieces, typically takes the longest. And that's because I have to laser cut 20 sheets of cardboard in order to get all 80 pieces to assemble this cardboard light. With that, let me show you how I laser cut all of the pieces and assemble them. Remember to stick around to the end of this video so that you can see how this project turned out.
So that's how I make this twisting oval light out of cardboard. I love the way that this project came out, especially the way that the simple oval shapes were rotated at every layer to create a beautiful organic shape like this. Overall, this project was really fun to work on and it took about 5 hours from the beginning to end, with the longest part of the project being laser cutting all of the pieces. It took about 20 sheets of cardboard that could fit inside of my Glowforge laser cutter, but overall I like the way that this project turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and remember to like, subscribe, and follow me for more.